and recording has started. So welcome to the CBOR interim. Um, yes, the agenda today uh, is, so we have three items on the agenda. One is a CBOR tag for date status update on the chairs. Then Karsten will talk about status, which I expect will be quite short. And then um, some time reserved for new operators for TPL in a new draft. So first of all, um, we have started a working group last call for the seaboard tag for date. And the working group last call ends the 29th of June. So let's take a look. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about Kirsten. Yes, <clears throat> so the, the one outstanding item uh, that, that I was aware of was uh, uh, updating the changes section in the appendix. And that happened yesterday or today, depending on which time zone you are in. And uh, we, we now have a, a more useful narrative for changes appendix. It's not just this, this uh, bullet list uh, anymore, even though that was already quite useful the way it was done. Um, so I think uh, that completes the, the number of things that need to be done for uh, um, answering the uh, working group last call comments. And I'm sorry for my ISDN phone. I have no way to stop that from ringing. Um, ah, somebody has picked up. Um, so, um, yeah, I think uh, th th there's one minor detail that, that we could do the next time. I'm going to do the notable tags uh, draft. Um, I will uh, put in another tag for uh, embedded CBOR sequences. Uh, obviously, we, we hadn't invented CBOR sequences yet when 7049 was uh, uh, created. So we don't have a tag for that. And uh, I think it would be good to have a symmetry with that. And we would use the, the same um, construction we use with the, the other uh, tags defined in the notable tags document that we just mentioned them but do not define them um, in the document. I think that, that would be a useful little thing we could add, but it's really not, not that important because really people should be looking at the notable text document at, at some point uh, in the future. Okay, thanks. So yeah, I've seen that. I will also check the latest um, submission. And I feel comfortable with just uh, send it. I think I fell off the audio. I hear you. And Cisco seems to have vanished. But the display WebEx is also weird. So I assume that neither of you will have any issues with the IP message she sent out. 
Yeah, so I already replied. <clears throat> and I would expect oh, okay. uh, Paul would also reply. Okay, I should be back. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what's yeah. wrong with my computer today or my headphones, but um, I don't know until when I disappeared, but I was saying that I, I feel comfortable with moving the document forward and uh, and request publication or not. Um, and I think that the changes from last submission do not need to, um, are not big enough to, to require a new working group last call. So if anybody of the present has uh, objections to that, or Jim, can you also confirm that? I have no problems with that. Okay, so I, I had already done the Shepherd review, so I just checked the diff and um, yeah, I think I think I, I can just move it forward now. So after the meeting, I will push the button and yes, great. Then that's it for the Seaboard Base document. The next item on the agenda is the new draft so, uh, individual submission. Yep, then go ahead. <clears throat> yes, so I didn't prepare slides, uh, but the idea was to uh, take those parts of the uh, freezer document that are low hanging fruit and uh, put them into a separate document. And we decided to focus on the control operators for now, there's also the uh, JSON format for CDDL, which is probably also a low hanging uh, fruit, but maybe we should not do this too um, on, on a couple time scale. Um, so, in the control operators, there, there are two operators for computing strings and numbers. Uh, there are two operators for putting A, B, and F uh, into CDDL. And there is one very weird control operator f called feature uh, for uh, essentially interacting with the expectations of, of the validation uh, machinery. Um, so the, the feature operator actually is implemented already, or at least a partial version of that is uh, implemented in the CDDL tool. Uh, the, the other uh, four operators uh, will uh, probably happen in the uh, second version of the CDDL tool. So I've been redoing some of that code and it's getting closer to completion. It will probably be done by the end of this month. Um, and I think by the time we, we actually have implementations, people have had a chance to uh, work with this. So that might be a good time to actually do the option call. So what's your um, estimated timeline, do you think? Yeah, that depends a lot on, on how much uh, uh, people, ability people have to play with it. Uh, you can put the feature tag now. And uh, the uh, playing with it we did in the uh, SDF work was spectacular. We now have a very good uh, dashboard of what kinds of extensions people are trying to put to the uh, models. So that, that's really useful. Uh, I would never thought that something that takes 15 lines to implement is, is so useful. Um, the other ones, unfortunately, take a little bit more than 50 uh, lines. And uh, so if I manage to actually get it done by the end of this month, uh, then maybe people have uh, some time to play with it in early July. And we should be able to, to adopt properly by IETF or not. Okay, sounds good. So let, let us know and uh, uh, post in the mailing list. 
That's yes. Thank you. And it, um, in the any other business, we have two uh, more interim meetings. One in the in first uh, of July, and then one fifteenth of July, and then two weeks after that, we we'll, we will have uh, the regular CBOR uh, ITF one hundred eight meeting. So. If you have items to add to the agenda, please let me know for any of these. So now that we can um, um, remove CBORBIS from the uh, um, from the agenda, I think it's a good time to start focusing back on the uh, CDDL update. Right. Um, so there, there are other items in the, the freezer that we could try to make some progress on, but it's not, the fruit is not as low hanging. Uh, so we probably need to go through a number of, of strong documents before we decide what we want to do and we could uh, prepare one for the next meeting. Yes, that would be great. Also, we probably need to decide on uh, continuing the interim meetings since uh, after 108 we don't have any more um, any opinions about that do we want to maybe, maybe hard to continue through august so maybe we need a little bit of a break then. Yeah, I think we will anyway take a break. On the other hand, that's, that might also be the time when we actually get the ISG feedback and see about this. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Maybe we actually wait on ITF 108 to decide how to do this. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I was thinking we should anyway have uh, some interim meetings after the ITF 108, just because we don't know uh, the participation that we will have at that meeting, and it's good to have interims. Just don't know about uh, if we need them um, as regularly, or we should scale down. Yeah, that, that depends a bit on how the ASDF uh, buff uh, thing is going. So that, that was the other thing I was going to bring up in the any other business uh, part. We now have a buff approved. We have mail ASDF at ITF.org. And the idea is to take the SDF specification that was done by 1VM uh, to, to a standard um, with all the work that might be involved with that. And uh, since there is some CDDL in there, but there's also some some stuff in, in there that is borrowed from JSON schema out, um, from the JSON schema out proposals, um, there may be some need for this working group to position itself. Uh, with respect to that. So the, the feature tag, as I mentioned, that, that was developed to make that work easier and we may want to do a, a few more uh, things specifically to, to support that uh, effort. Okay, yeah. yeah. So of course I will also expect uh, everyone who's interested in, in CBO and CDL to actually go to the buff um, during the IT fight. Yeah, that, that might not need to um, um, get interim anyway, 
I mean, this could be just uh, monitoring and, and, and following up in the mailing list if something comes up. Yeah. Okay, this sounds good. Um, is there anything else? Karsten, is, is the mailing list established for that? Is the mailing list? Is there a mailing list on that? For? It's, it's up, yes. Okay. It's ASDF. I'm going to make a few announcements, I just didn't get to admit. There are some six people on that list right now. Okay. Um, but then, if there is nothing else, this was a very short meeting. Okay, then we can close. Yep. I read the uh, shepherd right up and then send you comments if I have any. Sure, this do that. Evening. And I'll talk to you in two weeks. Wonderful to talk to you then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.